Hello everybody, welcome once again to another episode of Ask Dr. Bob. And we really appreciate all the emails that we get, and Facebook comments and tweets. Please pass this information on because somebody else has the exact same question that you have. Last week I told you that I was going to talk about what type of calcium. In our practice we use calcium citrate and or calcium lactate. They're very easily absorbed. Now this is an important point. I personally would not use a calcium that was calcium carbonate because it's difficult to digest. When it comes from getting calcium in nature, almonds and sesame seeds are tremendous. But if you've been watching me any length of time, you know over the last 12 months I've lost well over 30 pounds. And a part of it was I eliminated nuts. So calcium, great with almonds, but maybe not the answer for you. Try kale, any kind of green food. Kale's the new beef. Hi Dr. Bob, I just want to thank, say thanks for your help. By, way, by the way, what brand do you recommend for Agricept L? Well, I only really know of one Agricept L. It's a citric seed extract. I know we get it out of the state of Washington. I take 10 drops every day. Agricept L. Here's a very interesting one. I had to actually do a little research on it. What about wild rice? Hello, Betty. Guess what? Wild rice has less calories in it than brown rice. Brown rice has more fiber than wild rice. So I want you to know that I use rice cakes and sometimes I use wild rice cakes. I always think of rice as like rice pilaf and they put all these other concoctions in it. Wild rice, you might want to try it. There's another great question. Most information I read is on estrogen dominance. After take recent saliva tests, I have a low estradiol. What do you recommend to help increase this level? I also have a high TSH, but normal T3 and T4. Okay, here's the situation. Estrone is usually the estrogen that we find in nature that has been created by man. It's xenohormone. Now there is natural estrones, but in a woman, estradiol is produced by the adrenal glands, that's your backup gland, and also your ovaries. Your ovaries need iodine. That will help with your TSH. In our practice, we use a product called ADB5, Alpha Delta Bravo 5. You may want to have your blood pressure taken from a sit to a stand position. If your blood pressure drops, that's a body signal to me that your adrenal glands could be tired or exhausted. So to increase your own natural estradiol, iodine would be important to me. About the maximum is 12 milligrams in a day. You might want to start with maybe a half of a tablet of the um, iota. We use a product called iodozyme, a half a tablet for like two weeks, and then go to one tablet a day. You may want to have your TSH, your T3, and your T4 tested. I know you said it was normal, but what I have found oftentimes, it's less than the midline. It's probably on the low side. So we want to fix those adrenals and your ovaries. I had my thyroid removed and do not know what to do. Well, in our practice, we see this a lot. It's actually quite frightening. Probably one person a week I come across that's had their thyroid taken away. We use a product called GTA, which is porcine thyroid. But there's a lot going on if you had your thyroid removed. And I really believe when I was doing my Doctor of Natural Health studies that other cells could come into being. Now, I'm not saying your body's going to create its own thyroid gland. But we use a lot of different items, but you want to make sure every cell in your body needs iodine. We also use a product called Metastim and Thyrostim. And I'm not trying to pitch your products. I'm just trying to tell you what we use. And now a lot of people are frustrated by taking medications. But we use a product called GTA. What causes those real red hard lower legs? I'll say that again. What causes those real red hard lower legs? For those of you that suffer with them, you know what I'm talking about. It's hemosiderin. That's a big word, isn't it? Hemosiderin deposits, usually from compromised liver. It's really the, the red blood cell, the pigments hanging out. Those people tend to have liver compromise. You want to fix the liver. Which takes me to the last question. I have varicose veins and want to get them stripped. What do you think? I don't think I would do that. You want to fix your liver first because see the blood flows through your liver on the way to your heart. So if you have 
compromised liver, that blood's going to back up, spider veins, varicose veins, etc. So you want to take possibly a liver supplement. You want to eat Dr. Bob's ever famous half red apple every day, third cup of beet fiber, and at least one medium carrot to help improve liver function. I'll guarantee you this, if you get your veins stripped and your liver is compromised in three to five years, guess what's going to happen? They're going to want to strip your veins again. Now next week, what we're going to talk about, safe alternatives to sugar. Is there such an animal out there? Thank you once again for watching another episode of Ask Dr. Bob. Join us on Facebook. Pass this information around. We just thoroughly love and enjoy making a difference in your life.